Welcome back guys. After posting the last surf fishing video, I received some messages asking me about the sinkers I was using. So today we're going to be doing a little review on Sinker Guy Sputniks. So this particular one is a Sinker Guy uh, three ounce sinker. I just went out to my surf cart and I pulled all of them off that I had. So I brought them all with me and this is the way that I store them. So this right here on top is a shower curtain holder. Now, this is the way that they come. And they have these little plastic beads on them. I just break them off with a pair of pliers. To give you a comparison on how these sinkers are made, they are made of stainless steel. Allegedly, these shower curtain holders are also made of stainless steel. I've had to replace these things multiple times over the years um, because the salt in the air at the beach will start corroding them and they will break. Now, I've lost so many sinkers as I'm hauling my cart down the beach. This will break and somehow I lose my sinkers and I scatter them along the beach and I guess people find them. So you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, but that's how I that's how I store them. But anyway, to, to give you a comparison to the new versus old, there's really not that much of a difference. Now, yes, you're gonna get a little bit of surface rust on some of the older ones. Now, again, these are two to three years old. Uh, now it's stainless, not stain proof. So you're gonna get a little bit of rust on there. But the prongs down here have absolutely no rust on them. So we have the red ones here are three ounce. The grayish blue or baby blue are fours. Now I, I, I love the four ounce. This is the ones I use the most and the ones I lose the most. So before I actually started using these uh, Sputniks, uh, I used to buy a different brand uh, other than Sinker Guy. Um, I'm, this is not a bash video, so I'm not going to name the brand, um, but I would pick them up from a local bait shop. You can get the same ones from Walmart, um, but they did come with the bead right here, and they had a little indentation in the lead here on the side that would assist it with uh, retaining the prong but the bead would work its way off of the prong and fall off, which would result in losing the beads and they would just dangle and it would leave your weight useless. So I ended up throwing them away and purchasing new ones and I got tired of just buying new ones. Well, then I saw Sinker Guys product here and I noticed that he had these little rollers on the bottom and I said well there's no way that they could come off genius so I ended up trying these I am never I am never going back to the style with the beads one of the reasons why it's important to use a, a Sputnik is you want to cast these in specific locations now those locations can vary once you learn how to read the beach, you will know where to place them. Now it can be on the back side of a sandbar, to the left or right of a run out, or uh, the inside or the outside um, of a trough. And once you learn the beach, you will know exactly where to place these. Now once you get them there, they will hold. Now that's why it's important to use a Sputnik. You can adjust them or tune them, is what they say. Now to do that, is this one is already set, but you wanna make sure they're not too tight. So what you'll do is you'll just pull them down. And this one is uh, pretty tuned, it's tuned pretty pretty good. So you wanna just pull it up, snap it. And it doesn't, that one's a little tight. So what you do is you'll pull it down and just spread the prongs apart a little bit and then push it back up and it snaps. So that one's tuned. So, so what you do is 
when you reel in, the concept is these prongs will fold back, making it for an easier retrieval. So when you pull it in, they'll just drag through the sand and the water to make it for an easier retrieval. Now, another tip on these sinkers is while they're in the sand and the sinkers buried in the sand. Now, a lot of people think that this sinker will sit like this. It really doesn't. These lower prongs will dig into the sand. It will lay flat. And these bottom prongs will be dug down into the sand. When a fish bites your rig, this will be held in place. Now, if you use a circle hook, um, a lot of times this sinker will actually help you set the hook on a circle hook because it gives that hook a little bit of resistance. So when that fish bites on a circle hook and kind of runs with it, it gives a little bit of tug on that, the corner of the mouth on that circle hook and helps you set the hook. That's another tip. It was a funny question. The guy asked me uh, why they call it Sputnik sinker as well. That's pretty much an easy one. In 1957, they actually sent a satellite, the first satellite up into orbit, and they called it the Sputnik satellite. So, fun fact. Uh, why I chose these. Now, I ran into Chip Brundage, which is the sinker guy, at a local um, bait shop. And he was actually behind me in line. I turned around, I, I noticed who he was, from a local uh, Facebook page and I introduced myself and I also run a local Facebook page and before we ever even got to talking about him he starts commending me about how well the growth of my Facebook page went and uh, it, it really said something about who he was we never really talked about him it was all about me so I was like, man, you know, dude's pretty cool. You know, I really wanted to talk about him and, you know, how I noticed that he started building the sinkers and, you know, he was kind of doing some uh, surface guiding things and things like that, but we never got into that. So uh, it was just cool how he was, you know, all about me and not him. And it, it just, it was kind of cool. It said a lot about who he was. This is just my honest review. I've used these sinkers for two or three years now. Uh, he's building a community out there, so I have to stand behind a company like that. Not only do you get fast shipping, great service. He donates to charities. He puts on free seminars. Chip Brundage, who is the sinker guy, will in include free items. He also sponsors tournaments that benefit disabled veterans. So it's not only just a business standpoint, it's also the person that's behind the business for me. Go check him out, sinkerguy.com. I personally give him five stars. So until then, be easy and I'll catch you guys out on the next video.